Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Time to Go. Yeah, we're excited to be in December now. Christmas is coming. We're in Advent, and so we're uh, we're getting ever closer to the birth of Jesus. And then also uh, here at Benji in Advent, we're going to be walking that journey with the prophet Isaiah as he talks about the coming Messiah and uh, what it is that we have to look forward to. Yeah, uh, the first week of Advent, we're going to be focusing on this lesson from Isaiah, and it begins with the words, the word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw. It's kind of a weird way to begin a lesson. You usually think about, you know, hearing God's word in church or reading God's word in the Bible. But this is a word Isaiah sees, and Isaiah uh, paints a picture of uh, a word that he sees, an idealistic world uh, where uh, the future is way better than what we see in our world today. Yeah, in fact, it's in some ways kind of hard uh, to believe. Like sometimes I wonder if this is even possible. He speaks of... Um, of a time when people will kind of get rid of all of their weapons and turn their swords and their spears into plowshares, you know, turning weapons into something that nourishes and that nations will no longer go to war with one another. And um, I, I like that image. I think that sounds great, but it's hard for me to imagine a day in which, uh, for instance, America uh, no longer has a military and uh, Americans lay down all of their weapons and and uh that that seems like an unrealistic uh bit of scripture and so it, it, it's something to wrestle with yeah um and maybe this is a word of what we can't see in our world today something that's far off in the future god uh giving us a vision of hope uh that we can look forward to someday maybe maybe not even in our lifetimes uh, but it might also be a vision for us in our everyday lives that we can see glimmers of God's hope and peace in our world. Uh, we might be instruments of peace to our neighbors, extending a hand of peace uh, to someone that we have a problem with, or bringing goodness uh, where we could bring instead uh, tough words or violence. Yeah, there is hope in that, that it's something to hope for, and this, after all, is a season of hope as we uh, await the coming of Christ, both at Christmas and in our own lives once again. Uh, and, and what is it that that brings to our lives other than hope? What is it that we can hope for? So uh, I guess this is a, a time to hope. Yeah, it is a time to hope. And we hope you look forward uh, to seeing God at work in your life and seeing God's vision of peace uh, made flesh in you and your neighbors. Uh, but right now, it's not just time for hope, but time, time to, go. to go. So have a good week. Bye.